Hey, what is up guys? It's AJ Brook Reviews here, and today we'll be reviewing the early summer 2023 Lego City 60377 Explorer Diving Boat. This is part of the um, exploring, submarine exploring, or ocean exploring slash arctic exploring subline for summer 2023. It has 100, 182 pieces, 5 plus, and retails for $40. So let's get right into it. And if you're wondering how I got this set so early, um, Coles actually is putting out summer 2023 sets early across all themes. So make sure you go to your local Coles and check out uh, what they got because you might be able to find this set and a bunch of other summer 23 sets. So we have our bag, we have instructions, three instruction booklets, and we have three number bags and a large raft piece. So I'm going to get this built and then we'll all review it. So here are the three figures of set. We have a, on the right here, we have the captain of the diving boat. Then we have two divers right there. Starting with the captain, she has a really nice torso piece I really like. I do enjoy the separate uh, color printing between the torso and the arms, like that turquoise blue, turquoise aqua blue. I also really like the orange, white, and blue color scheme. And on the back, there is very minimal printing but i really like the torso i don't think it needs that much on the back with all the details on the front there is no leg printing on the front or back then our next two figures they have the same torso and legs so we're gonna look at both of them at the same time we have some little dials right here we have this little tube which would be the air respirator i do really like this uh symmetry between the torso and the pants and the colors and the lines on both of those figures and again on the back very minimal printing but to me that's fine because there's a lot of nice details on the front here are the figures with all their accessories on i got the air respirators in the back for both of the divers and then the captain has her life vest and also the flippers and there's a nice blue camera that's included for one of the divers to be taking pictures of the wreckage or uh, any of the sea animals speaking of sea animals let's look at those now from right to left, we have a big turtle, we have a baby turtle, we have a stingray, and we have a hammerhead shark. These are the four sea animals included in the set. What I like about the uh, turtle is that there's a two by two plate underneath, and then there's a one by one plate on the, or a one by one stud on the top. Baby turtle just has a one by one stud on the bottom. The stingray has a two by, a one by two, and I really do like the black dots. We have gotten stingrays before, but I'm pretty sure we haven't gotten one in this color. And then finally, we have the hammerhead shark, who, of course, mouth can open up if it wants to eat a fish or maybe even a diver. So those are the four sea animals we have in the set. I do like the selection. I do really like getting turtles because this is the first time in a city set we've gotten turtles. And we have another variant of a stingray. And, of course, getting a hammerhead shark is always nice because usually um, in most city sets or most aquatic sets, it's the normal shark we usually get. So not getting a nice, different version is always appreciated. Now let's look at the diving boat. To be exploring all that sea wreckage, you're gonna need a nice diving boat just like this one. It is on a big blue hull that can float on water. This is one of the ones that can float on water. And I really like the color scheme of this diving theme in general with the dark blue, the bright blue, the orange, and then the hints of white. Uh, it looks really clean and modern. So starting from the front here, we have a light. Then we move into the little cockpit right here. We have a seat for one, we have a little control panel, we have a little bucket for some tools in the back. And then sliding up here, we have some lights for visualization. More light, more small little lights right on the this side and that side. In the back, we have a little crane if it wants to lift up the treasure they find at the shipwreckage. And we have a little medical syringe and would be a medical like toolbox or medical box full of supplies if needed. And then there's a little area for standing in between the bucket in the cockpit and where the crane is. It's not too big and that's the only problem is that these minifigures would be cramped in here if you try to put both in. And maybe they would have to take the flippers off. And you probably have to have one standing on the edge or just have them both cramped standing next, next to each other. But other than that, I do really like the look of this boat. It's something we, we've gone before, but we haven't gotten this style, I guess you could say. It's a new variant, a new 
um, uh, design, I guess. And here's what it looks like with a figure in, very clean looking. And finally, in the back here, we have two little engines. You can rotate this black piece on a Technic pin. I forgot what this piece is called. I'm very sorry. So overall, this is a very nice looking boat. Uh, I do like the fact that it can actually float. So if you want to put this in the bathtub, if you want to put this in your little, little pool, little um, kiddie pool or whatever, you can definitely do that. And what I do like about the set is that all of these designs right here on the top of the cockpit on the crane and this little medical symbol those are all prints there is no stickers in the set so although what i'm going to talk about later the set is very expensive stickers do make up for it i'll talk about more about that later but here this is the boat so now let's look at the wreckage you see here we have this beautiful coral reef so starting from the right side we have a bunch of colorful plants we have this uh, this dome piece right here which in this pink color, which is really nice. We do have a uh, steering wheel for the pirate ship or the uh, stern. Actually, no, it's not stern. I don't know that much about boats, but the steering wheel for the ship. Let's just call it that. Then on the side here, we have some more coral reefs and more seaweed. We I do like these coral reef pieces. We have gotten them before, but getting more of them is really nice. And we have a nice green fish, and then we have a baby blue fish. This piece right here... Uh, it's supposed to be maybe seaweed or kelp or something. This is a very interesting piece to me, and I really like it. Definitely, if you want to build an underwater mock, definitely would recommend getting a bunch of those pieces. Then over here, we have our treasure chest with our treasure. We have some coins, and we have a goblet, and then we have some more seaweed. And this, there is one big piece right here in the sand colorway that's holding these two small builds together. Which is nice because you could slide a stingray maybe coming out to surprise the divers or maybe a shark coming out to attack the divers so there is a lot of play value uh, with this little build you can also have your turtles oh turtles swimming around up in here you can have your, have your turtles nest behind this steer, uh, little steering wheel right there that's what i'm just gonna call it you could also have your divers swimming through it obviously Kind of hard to imagine it but you can have your diver swimming through yeah, let me get a better angle for you guys and these pieces the only thing i don't like about them is that they're very easily knock over so you could just like that but like i said before and you can have your divers pretending to swim through so maybe it's a little cave and exit or entrance and or you could also have the last little build in the set come through here and maybe do some exploring, maybe grabbing some samples. So yeah, now let's look at that little build. It's really funny because I almost forgot about this. Um, but here we have this little drone piece. We have in the back we have this, it would be its engine, which again is a little black piece on this Technic pin. Uh, in the front here we have some arms that can rotate. So if it needs to grab sample seaweed, maybe an ant, maybe steal an animal or something. I don't know. And then on top here we have this the logo for the new ocean exploration theme slash arctic exploration theme this is a print again there's no stickers in the set and then we have this glass dome piece in this bluish transparent bluish color and that's so that's its main like controls how it sees what it does and then we have these two lights on the sides so it's a very basic build now let's look at the box instructions and i'll give you all my final thoughts we have three instruction booklets, which I don't really like because it is wasting a lot of paper. Um, definitely could have done two, even one. I understand they're trying to make it easier for kids to build sets, but this is also pretty counterintuitive to what they're trying to do with the environment, so it doesn't seem very, doesn't make sense to me. But we have three instruction booklets. First one right here is for the Stingray, the little drone, uh, underwater drone, and our first diver. And then after that, we have the infamous wind advertisement. Second booklet is the boat and the hammerhead shark. And in the back, you just have the build. Then our last booklet is the fully or foliage or the underwater reef and the treasure. And in the back, you have your parts count. And you also have an ad for some of the other sets. You have this really cool looking submarine, which I definitely gonna pick up and review. That's really modern looking and probably might be just from the looks of it, one of my favorite sets. Or if not that one, definitely the top set right here with this Arctic Exploration boat. Very look, huge looking boat. We haven't got a boat in that kind of style 
Um, most of them are just container ship kind of style sets, and I really want that Orca. And then here we have uh, Art an actual Arctic set that's on the on the snow or the ice, and it looks like to be a snow plow or maybe something that's digging a magnet right there. You can see digging rocks up. So yeah, I'm really excited to review these city sets, and I was really excited to review this set. On the box here, we have, again, all our nice, good information you get with these U.S. boxes, such as piece count, age range, um, and uh, set number and all that stuff. And then in the back, it shows the different play features. So you have your turtle on the boat. You could have your little drone with the crane. And then you have your treasure. So yeah, overall, this is not a bad set. The one thing that steers it away, like steers like scares me away from it is the fact that it is $40 for only 182 pieces it is again they use a lot of large parts such as like animals and the boat haul but they definitely could have made it 30 and if it was 30 i think that'd be kind of perfect again you also have to know that they're using large parts like the boat haul and the animals like i said um the one thing that do did impress me though was the fact that there were no stickers that was that was really nice that they did that and it makes the four dollar price tag still bad but not as bad and one thing about this uh sub theme that is growing on me is the color scheme like i said earlier it's a really clean color scheme i do like the dark blue the brighter blue orange and the white and all the um parts that we get too that are either exclusive to this set currently or just you know not uh common parts so yeah, this is my review of LEGO 60377 Explorer Diver Boat. Again, 5 plus, 182 pieces, retail for $40. Retails, retails for August, retails for $40, like I just said. Oh my god, I just repeated myself. Um, got it at Kohl's early. We'll be coming out August 1st, so make sure y'all check out your local LEGO stores and Target, Walmart, all that for the set if you want it. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Brooklyn store, I'll have that in the um, description. And I will see y'all later.